हे गाइज हाउ यू ऑल डूइंग सो टुडे वी आर हेयर विद अ न्यू वीडियो इट इज इज ग्रेविटी एल्यूजन एंड इंट्रो टू स्पेस टाइम करवेचर लेट्स बिगिन सो यू गाइज माइट हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द नर्ड्स लाइक मी सेइंग स्पेस टाइम बट द हैक इज स्पेस टाइम बट आई यू ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट सीरियसली स्पेस टाइम बट द हेल इज दिस वी हैव this sent to two different words space and time now you are mixing these two words calling space and time and so according to our educated intellectuals they say in physics space time is any mathematical model that fuses the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time into a single four dimensional continuum the idea of space time as a four dimension was postulated by the special theory of relativity by albert einstein so basically in classical physics we thought that there are only three dimensions but yeah. einstein said no there exists another dimension called space time actually the space time topic is itself too much vast it consists of many theories many many theories uh, like einstein's general theory of relativity time dilation twin paradox galilean transformations lorentz transformation doppler effects energy and momentum rapidity and many more so we will try to make it simple as possible for you to understand so guys what is gravity einstein's general theory of relativity has an unusual answer to that question in part gravity is an illusion in some part it is associated with the quantity called curvature overall the gravity is intimately connected with the geometry of space and time to get a better understanding let's take an example in newton's theory of gravity for instance if we place a massive sphere somewhere in space this sphere will exert a force on all other masses around it if we place a test particle in the vicinity we see that its moment is deflected away from the usual straight space time line its path would be curved towards the sphere and it would become accelerated as it feels the sphere's attraction in einstein's geometric theory of gravity this situation is described in a completely different way a mass that we place in a region of space will lead to a distortion of space time empty space time is flat space time in the presence of masses is curved so you can take example of space time as a fabric or a trampoline stretched on a bucket so when a large mass is kept in the center of the trampoline the trampoline stretches from the center to the bottom of the bucket so when the smaller masses are released from the edge of the bucket they swirl down to the larger mass just like in the case of solar system but in this case the planets don't swirl down to the sun to get a broader view there's a video depicting the same example the link will be in the description you should definitely watch it so for space time curvature more the mass more will be the curvature in the space time fabric hence einstein is justified because gravity is due to space time curvature let's just say because of higher mass there will be a deeper impact in the space time fabric which will provide a more space time curvature which will inculcate a higher gravitational field or a higher gravity so what is gravity in einstein's universe generally speaking any distortion of space time geometry einstein's universe performs an ever ongoing cosmic dance with matter and space time interacting a given configuration of matter distorts space time geometry this distorted geometry makes matter move in certain ways the moment changes the matter configuration as the source of gravity changes their locations with the matter configuration changed space time geometry changes as well now that space time geometry is a bit different it also acts as a matter in a different way matter moves geometry changes and so on in an endless dance a year ago a friend of mine asked if space time is curved is it possible for us to look into space and see light from earth from long ago is it possible that if a light beam went out into space it could travel along a curved path and end up back when it started because of a curvature of space time does this mean that we can look into space and see light from earth from long ago can we look back into and see ourselves this was a trending question a years back but researchers gave a credible answer to it firstly as far we can measure our universe is consistent with being flat this means that rays of light would just travel off in a straight line forever and never come back this measurement has slight errors associated with it so it is still possible that our universe has either a just barely open or closed geometry in an open universe 
parallel rays of light would diverge as they travel and would never return. In a closed universe, rays of light would eventually return if the expansion was slow enough. So in the case of universe being closed, light would still never return to its original position. The expansion rate in our universe is sufficiently rapid that the light will never able to return to its original position. Instead, it will keep getting further from the source forever. So thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. We will keep coming up with new videos every week. So this is your host Preet. Peace out.